Today I want us to put our attention on the first reading. It's taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 6. And the prophet has a, an impressive vision in the temple. He says this, he sees the seraphims singing and praising the Lord. The seraphims had six wings. And they were, they were crying one to, one to the other, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth, earth is filled with his glory. These words that chant the seraphims are especially known to us Catholics because we echo them every day in Mass. Every day in Mass, when we finish the preface, we acknowledge that we in Mass are singing to God together with the angels and the saints. And we echo in Mass the same words that we have heard today in the vision of Isaiah. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts. And this is a good reminder that when we gather for Mass as Catholics, we unite a praise and a worship that happens in heaven. The Catechism teaches us that every time that we come to Mass, it is not only us gathered, the baptized, who are praising God, but there is a praise and there is a chant that is going on all the time, even before Mass and after Mass, and that is the chant of the angels and the saints. So we unite our voices to bless the Lord in Mass with the angels and the saints. And this has a very practical application, a very concrete application for our, for our liturgy. And that means that when we sing in Mass, our singing should try to resemble the singing of the angels and the singing of the saints. And that's why it makes so much sense that the music in Mass is not the music that we hear outside of Mass, but it's a music, again, that echoes the voices of the angels and the saints. That's why sacred music belongs to a category of itself, because it, it, it intends to be a music that transports us or that reminds us that we're not singing by ourselves. That we, in fact, are only intending to sing like the angels do and like the saints do. And that's why the church teaches in the Second Vatican Council that although there's space for innovation and creativity and artistic creation still, Gregorian chant and polyphonic chant always has to be as a point of reference because no other style of music resembles best the singing of the saints and angels as Gregorian and polyphonic. So today, brothers and sisters, as we unite today for this Holy Mass, let us be reminded that we're not alone, that we're not praising and glorifying God just by ourselves. But in fact, the only thing that we're doing is we are incorporating and we are uniting our voices and our praises to the voices of the seraphims and the angels, like Isaiah saw today in the vision of the temple. And this should truly help us lift our hearts, help us see that we truly engage in something amazing every time that we come to Holy Mass.